Danny Thomas, I had known and loved like all of my life. And he kept after Jack. Come on, we want Mitzi to be on the show. So he said yes. Jack said yeah. And I was supposed to go and meet the, the costume designer. His name is Ray Agion. And Ray Agion was a Persian and fun and gorgeous. And you know, like sometimes you meet somebody and it's like this. And that's the way we were together. And he knew me and knew my body and, you know, knew everything. And uh, he said, uh, Berling, I want you to take the sketches and really study them. They are very, very good. I said, wow, yeah. And I fell in love with the sketches. I said, you know, Ray, you have to be the greatest sketch artist in the world. These things, he said, no, darling, I don't draw. He said, I have friend Bob Mackey. He is uh, my partner. He said, uh, he do sketches. Well, I mean, the, the clothes were amazing, absolutely amazing. I didn't know I didn't meet Bob Mackey. Um, I was going to do a new show. I called Ray. I said, I'm going to do a new show, baby. Would you do my costumes? I'm so in love with you, I can't stand up. He said, darling, I'm up to my ass in Judy Garland. I cannot do this. He was doing her show, see. So he said, but I send my friend over. So we're at rehearsal, and I'm in my leotard, my matching scarf, and my four-inch heels, doing something strange and wondrous, whatever it was, and there's a knock on the door. This blonde head comes around, and he says, Miss Gaynor? And I said, yes. No, of course, he wanted my, whatever it was, wanted my autograph. He said, hi, I'm Bob Mackey. I said, your voice hasn't changed yet. Get in here. And that was 19, what, 66? Mm -hmm. So we've been married ever since. Everybody says that I discovered him. He discovered me. Uh, he does the best funny clothes of anybody in the world. He is a producer, director. He's so, he's so show-wise. He, um, you know, I would have him come in and I would do the whole show for him, you know, what we'd choreographed so far. He would bring, a, pardon me, a pad and then... Next day he'd come in, all it would be all finished, you know, this is what you're going to wear. Now, Carol Burnett would say, um, honey, I'm going to do, you know, the secretary, Mrs. Wiggins, do something. And he would do, he created the dress for her. And so that's what he could do. He could fill out your part, if you know what I mean. In he other created words, the character he in did. a way. So, and made the skirt so tight that you couldn't walk which gave her the, that funny little walk. Mm -hmm. And, oh, God, they're, they're amazing together, those two. Really amazing. I'm kind of happy that um, I was lucky enough to uh, be part of all of that. And also, the work is so fine. The, it's, the, the, it's so amazing that you can keep a dress for five years and do eight shows a week and nothing. Amazing. I think the new dress in Let Go is my favorite, favorite. I was really skinny and kind of gorgeous then. If I said, oh, God, she looked really good in that. Yeah, he thinks so, too. I wouldn't say it except he says it all the time. You know, he created Cher. He created me. I mean, you know, I mean, there, you know, I think Cher is his muse, although he will deny that he has any kind of a muse, but I think, and he takes our souls. Mm. He knows what to do with us. He understands us. He knows our, he'll say, Okay, I got a new got a new kind of get-ups for her or outfits or something, which is kind of a wonderful idea. He just say, "Oh, darling, I'm doing the most marvelous thing." Uh-uh. Okay, and and I taught him something that he later taught everybody else. Ginger Rogers said, "When you go in for a fitting, don't stand there like a clod because if you're just going to stand there, you're not going to act and you're not going to you got to move around and stretch and bend over and everything goes pop. You got to mend it so you know what it is." So now he does that or did that with everybody. You know, they're, they're dancing clothes and straight woman clothes and talking clothes and ballad clothes. That all comes from burlesque. So, a, you know, a talking woman clothes, big boobies, little tiny waist and cute ass and a split, right? Dancing, we know what that is, a bead and a bead and another bead. So depends on how he's feeling that day. <laughs>